It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 4th of February. I'm James Spann. Hey, the storm tour rolls along. The first alert storm team road warriors this month. Tomorrow evening, we'll be up at Cedar Bluff in Cherokee County. It's going to be cold up there. Bundle up. We'll be there between 4 and 6.30. Just a meet and greet. Come by and say hi. Uh, we got some cool stuff to give away. We'll program your weather radio if you need some help. Uh, next week, uh, more stops. In fact, we'll be on the road basically every Tuesday and Thursday for the rest of the month. So be sure and come by if you can. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots uh, today. This is coming from Trussville. You can see there the sky cloudy, but no rain. All of that's way down to the south of us. Cheha State Park, mostly cloudy there. And the Alabama Gulf Coast, rain is falling. Light rain has been falling there much of the day. You can see a very impressive wave producing the rain on the Gulf Coast coming out of Texas. And then in the northern branch, a little short wave producing some snow north of the state. Here's a look at the radar at 231. Widespread rain falling on the central Gulf Coast. Uh, Mobile, getting good, good soaking. Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Destin, Fort Walton Beach. Uh, we might see some light rain up to US 80, up toward Montgomery this evening, but nothing on our end of the state from that. Temperatures are mostly in the low 50s, Birmingham 51. Now, tomorrow's going to be colder, pretty good north wind. Temperatures will drop into the uh, low and mid 40s during the day. Up north, you can see uh, pretty chilly air sitting over the upper Midwest, and we'll feel a chunk of that tomorrow. Winter weather advisories for some of the uh, communities up north, uh, uh, just north of St. Louis, just, just south of Chicago, where some snow is falling. And again, that will bring a few flurries to North Alabama after midnight tonight, but most of you won't even notice that. It'll happen while you're sleeping and no impact. This is the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening of next week. And this is suggesting rain amounts of only about a quarter inch, and the bulk of that will be on Monday. Accumulating snow, if you're looking for some, head north. As you might expect, Ch chance of greater than one inch of snow is less than 5% for North Alabama. Late tonight, better chances again for the Northeast United States. All right, model fans, the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Uh, got a western ridge, eastern trough, the amplitude not very extreme. This is midnight tonight. A little light rain or snow mix coming into the Tennessee Valley. Rain beginning to exit South Alabama. And again, we're in between all of that. It'll be cloudy. 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe a touch of light rain or a snowflake somewhere around here uh, as the day begins. But you can see there's obviously not much to that. And then by noon, it's all gone. Uh, the day will be uh, uh, breezy and colder with a high in the middle 40s. The model's coming in not quite as cold. Uh, the NAM is at 46. The GFS is at 48 tomorrow. But a pretty good north wind of 10 to 20 will make it feel colder. Friday, the morning will be very cold. Mid-20s likely to start the day, but we warm up into the mid-50s. Friday afternoon, the sky bright and sunny. And Saturday, a beautiful day to kick off the weekend. Lots of sun with a high in the low 60s. Sunday, looks like we can take out the chance of rain. Uh, the air stays fairly dry, and a good chance we'll see mid-60s with a partly sunny sky. And then Monday, a little clipper-type feature brings the chance of some light rain in here. This is obviously not a big rain event, but it could rain on us at times. Uh, the high Monday should be in the upper 50s. And Tuesday, that feature is on to the east. And uh, the day will be cool and dry, a high in the 50s, lows in the 30s. Again, that's where we ought to be this time of the year. And a week from today, same thing, cool and dry, highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. We'll check the end of the forecast. Valentine's Day, the 14th, 10 days out. You can see, uh, again, a western ridge, eastern trough, little mischief there uh, south of the four corners over Mexico. And if that's right, the weather is just kind of uh, cool and dry for Valentine's Day. Temperatures coming off the ensembles, nothing out of the ordinary. No real bitterly cold air showing up. We'll cool down a little bit from time to time, but those numbers certainly not too bad for this time of the year. Arctic Oscillation kind of hugs around in the neutral to positive range. And the NAO in the neutral to negative range. No major trends really in uh, either one. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.